Okay, so we're back again talking about ordering numbers, but this time we're going to order them from greatest to least. So just like before, except opposite, okay? So we're gonna start with the largest number first, and every number that comes next is going to be smaller and smaller and smaller until we get to the smallest number. Okay, so again, we're gonna start just like we did with some simple numbers, okay? So we've got 9, 17, 4, 0, 32, 47, okay? So we've got our list of numbers. So now we want to go from largest number to smallest number. So we go through our line and we're looking for the number that's the biggest. That's gonna be our first one. That's 47. Then we're looking through and looking for the number that is smaller than 47, but it isn't the smallest. So as we go, 32. And then we go through again, 17, nine, four, and zero. So now we have our numbers listed from greatest to smallest. Again, we will need to do our same thing when the numbers get bigger. So I'm gonna use the same numbers as last time. They were 149, 231, 85, 589, and 600. So there are numbers in a random order. So if we're starting with the largest number, we have to go through and we have to find the number that is biggest. There we go, 600. That is our first number in our list. Next number, we're looking, we're looking, 589. So again, our second number is large, but it is not the largest. As we go down, they get smaller. Next number, 231. Next number, 149, and the last number, which is the smallest, 85. So if you aren't sure how to figure that out, you can, like we did in our previous video, you can stack them just like this. So I'm gonna stack some large numbers this time. Let's start with 17,891, 22,456, 37,989, and let's go in 102,340. Okay, so now we have a new list of numbers. So the way that we're gonna stack them is I'm gonna use blue and we're gonna stack them. We have to make sure, I don't know if I mentioned that last time, you have to really make sure that your numbers are lined up. Their place values need to line up very carefully. So I'm gonna write them neatly and I'm gonna stack them so that their place values line up. So that means the ones place is lined up with the ones place tens place, hundreds place, etc., cetera, and uh, so on and so forth. Okay, so we've got our numbers. And now since we are looking for the largest number, we're gonna start over here. As we can see, this one is the largest because it has a digit in the hundred thousand place and the other ones don't. So that is our first number because it is the biggest. 103,000. 340. Now we can just look at the digits in the 10,000th place because that's what we're at right now. So we've got a one, a two, and a three. So we're going to take this number because it is bigger than these other two. 37,989. Then again, we look in the 10,000th place and we see this one is bigger. And our last number, 17,891, okay? So when you ask yourself, why is 22,000 bigger than 17,891? That's because the digit in its 10,000th place is bigger than one. Two is a bigger digit than one. Now, what if though it was 27,891? Do you remember what we did? What we did is we looked and we're like, oh, the two digits are the same value in the 10,000th place. Then we have to move over to the thousands place and we can see, oh, seven is a larger digit than two. Its value is bigger. So in that case, 27,891 would be bigger. So hopefully this was very helpful. Have a great day.